Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're continuing on with the IFB. Now this thing right here is of course our IFB, and uh, it is looking actually pretty good. It works, it drives, it floats, and it actually moves along in the water with the propellers that we added last time. These guys, um, they're actually controlled via like tank steering, so um, essentially the way it works is... The clutch goes in on one side in order to turn it that way, and the clutch goes in on the other side to turn it that way. We have no rudder, but that's okay. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to try and design a gun that goes on the top. This might be really tricky for me to do, but we'll try. So, um, let's go ahead and get on with it. Alright, so, this is actually where our gun is going to go, clearly on the top of our vehicle. Now, the gun is going to go off to one side, because it's kind of how we're going to have to do it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pivot, and uh, we'll try and do this. Let's grab the right color as well, actually, so we'll do it the right color. Anyway, um, duh, 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 duh. let's do this. So, that's going to go there. Uh, no, actually, maybe it could go quite far back. All right, let me design it real quick. So, get a gun. Here we go. Uh, auto cannon. Auto ca cannon. Uh, we're gonna go with a he mm, heavy might be too big. I, I like the idea of it, but a heavy might be too big. Let's go with a light auto can. Oh, that might be too small. It's either too big or too small. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Um, okay, we might be able to fit the heavy one. So let's try and do it with the heavy one. If we can't do it with the heavy one, we'll change. Okay, so the way this is working then, we're gonna go ahead and grab these guys. We're gonna cut them. We're gonna move them over. And I think I need to fit it there pretty much there bang on right there so we bring this to here we merge this with this there we go good then delete those that's fine oh no that's not right that is not right hang on cut it move it backwards one it, i wanted to be able to like aim it down slightly but we might not be able to do that unless i move it upwards so it would actually have to be there in order to aim it up and down all right, let's do that. Like, right, fine. We're gonna we're gonna try our best to make this make this work and make it work well. Okay, so then we go ahead and we get one of these. There we go. That's gonna go right on there like that, and essentially that's where our ammunition is gonna be. It's gonna st be stored right there. So let's try and get this working um, as is. Let's add a camera to this real quick. Da -da 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 -da. I actually want to use one of these cameras, so let's try that real quick. Bosh. And uh, connect all this together. So, um, zoom is going to go on up and down. Uh, w and S is going to go on this. A and D is going to go on this. And that's it, I think. That's all we need. So, let's go ahead and send the camera down to it. There we go. And I guess we need the actual monitor to go on. So, we'll do that. Let's go. Let's see if this works. So, we got a turret on the top. Go and open this up, get inside, sit in the seat. Alright, it's inverted so far, but that's okay. Down is also inverted. It's all inverted. But... That works. That actually works. So yeah, we need to invert everything. But that's fine. Lovely. Okay, right, so. Uh, easiest way to invert this is deleting it and putting a new one in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The other way around. There we go. Reattach it to the same place. Bosh. Uh, easiest way of doing this as well is cutting this. Uh, pressing I? Yeah, I think that's right. Paste it back in. There we go. Uh, grab this and this. Merge this to there, that to there, and delete these two. Alright. Should be the right way around now. I'm also going to put some ammo in and get it shooting too. So let's go ahead and get this on spacebar. There we go, and put some actual ammo in it. So a heavy auto cannon, and it's gonna be heavy, high explosive. Let's go. Let's see if this works. It might work. It might not. All right, jump in. Close that. There we go. All right, so up and down is correct now. Excellent. And left and right is also correct. So if we want to shoot something, we can. This is sick. That's actually so cool. 
All right, good. Uh, if we want to reload stuff, obviously we're going to have some extra ammo dotted around in here. So let's go ahead and get some of that. Uh, auto cannon rounds. Yeah, I mean, we could just store a bunch of these. I don't know what the most efficient way of storing them is. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this. That's probably okay. Delete one, two, three. There we go. And seal it with this. Whee! There we go. Okay, awesome. Fill all of these. We're going to have one be... Um, they're all heavy auto cannons, So one's going to be high explosive. Uh, 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 uh. One's going to be fragmentation. And then the last one... Oh, armor piercing? All right, let's do actual uh, incendiary on that one. Okay, good. So it starts with high explosive. Everything else is fine. Good. Let's go to heavy auto cannon as well, and we'll actually extend it once, and then we'll actually add another extension, which is going to be one of these. There. Okay, that actually looks pretty sick. That looks really cool. Good. Okay. So now that we've got that, we need to design everything else around this as well, uh, which is where things are going to get really tricky. Uh, for me, anyway. So let's go ahead and put these in there. Let's go ahead and put these guys on here. Um, and I don't know what I want this to look like. Okay, so I kind of feel like I, I want it to be somewhat boxy, but I, at the same time, I, I don't know whether I do. So we're going to go ahead and do this anyway. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and do this at the back and extend it out and over there. And we're going to do this out towards the back, but we're not going to do it on the front. So hopefully this will look okay. So whack that in there like that. That's good. We're going to go ahead and seal this off with one of these. And we're going to put this on here like this. And we're going to seal this off down the edge like so. Like that. There we go. We're going to have to put those guys in. We're going to have to put these guys in. But not that bit. There we go. Okay, actually. Not that bit. Because the gun still needs to go up and down. And uh, that's where it's going to do it from. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, the only other thing that I can think of doing there, actually, is going backwards to wherever it's going to pivot from. Which is here. Adding one of these... On the inside, like that. Delete that guy. Okay, and have this bit sealed off from the rest of it. I know that's a little bit strange, but maybe that's okay. Alright, send it. Let's see what that does. Actually looks pretty good. Okay, jump inside. Let's have a little looky here. Can't even get in. <laughs> I struggle with jumping inside of this thing. Never mind anything else. But yeah, so this is what it currently looks like. Aim it up. Still works. Aim it down. Actually still works. Shoot. Yes. All right. Fantastic. We're going to have that on sticky, by the way. So uh, the up and down is going to be on sticky. Da, 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 da. Sticky. Good. Uh, the left and right doesn't need to be on sticky because that's not really how that works. Um, I don't know how to build the front end in. Like, I, I don't know what I want this to actually look like. I think I'm going to delete these guys. And I'm going to do this. I feel like that's kind of what I want. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like that is actually what I want. So go ahead and put this guy here like this. Do that. Yeah, I think so. We're then going to go ahead and seal this guy off on the top like this. Um, we're going to do the same as this on here. There we go. And seal it. Here we go. So whack that across there. Uh, we're going to do the same on the other side. Because for some reason I haven't been doing the same on the other side. And uh, yeah, it's going to work. So grab that. Put it in there like that. Good. Grab this guy. It's not letting me grab it. Grab this guy. There we go. And we're going to do this on both sides. So do this. And then send that guy backwards too. There we go. And then do this guy right here. Grab this one. Send this across here too. Boop. And seal all this up as well. Here we go. Bosh. All right. But that bit needs to actually move. So. Yeah. Oh, actually, all of it needs to move. It kind of needs to be the roof. That bit actually kind of needs to be the roof. Oh, this is weird. This is very strange. All right, delete that. Delete this. This is going to be the roof right here. Okay. Very, very weird. Not amazing looking, but I think it'll work. All right. The other thing that I would love to add to this, and we will do this on both sides, is some like little smoke deployers or even rocket launchers. Uh, I wouldn't mind adding rocket launchers to the side. Uh, essentially, just like this. You know? If we could aim them as well, that'd be fantastic. But yeah, some little rocket launchers on the side would be sick. Let's do it. Let's have rocket launchers. Yes. Okay, so do this right here. We're going to do it exactly the same as that, kind of. We're going to grab a rocket launcher and we're going to put it 
actually on the top of this. Um, but I want it forward. So let's do this. No, let's do this. Put a rocket launcher on top of there. Like that. There we go. Okay. And, uh, and one to the side of it. There we go. That's just how it's going to be. That's fine. We're also going to delete these two right here. We're going to get ourselves an RX, a radio thingy, my Bobby. Uh, large ones. We're going to put those there. And that's it. Good. Okay, so if we connect these guys to WNS of this and to the WNS of this, and I don't know how to fire them, but we're going to go with one. Bosh, 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 and Bosh. Okay, right, we went with one. And that's going to be a push. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this does. So it actually doesn't look too bad. It fits. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting, but that's okay. So we reload it like this, by the way. There you go. So through the roof. That's okay. All right, get inside. Zoom in. Okay, hang on. One second. We need the zoom, uh, which is up and down, to be on sticky as well. So this is zoom. Zoom! Go! All right, let's see if this works. Let's actually drive outside first, and then we'll see if we can get the gun working. So close that up, turn the lights on, get inside the seat, move it out. Okay, the gun looks tiny compared to the vehicle, but if, if I'd have made the actual vehicle itself um, the right size, which would have been like one block smaller and then maybe one block smaller that way, or maybe even two, um, it would have been right. But never mind. Never mind. Anyway, sit in this seat. Turn the engine off. There we go. Aim it towards whatever we want to shoot at. Here we go, which is anything over here. Let's, let's aim. Here we go. And fire. Okay, so we're shooting our rounds up over there, and that's all working. Press 1. That's cool. That is actually very cool. I like it. I, I like this a lot. I think we've done a good job. Um, so there we go. Right, good. There are other things that I do need to add to this thing still. The front still looks pretty weird. Uh, and what I'm also going to do for right now is I'm actually going to change the green to white again. And I'm going to spawn it back in like that. I honestly think it looks better in white. Which is fine if we're in a snowy area. We have a snowy area in Stormworks. So maybe that's okay. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and turn it on. Get it outside. And I actually want to take it to the water real quick. That's where I want to go. So we're going to try and send it into the water. I need to work on the gearing still, but that's okay. Um, we're going to get it into the water. And then we're going to try and shoot something from the water. It might be quite tricky, but we'll see. So here we go. Jump it off the top. There we go. And drive it forwards into the water. Okay, that's fine. And sit in this little seat. Turn the engine off. That's okay. Aim towards the target. Okay, and then fire. Yeah, I thought that might happen. If we're aiming sideways while we're in the water, that happens. Bit annoying. Anyway, fire. Oh, this is cool. That's actually very cool. I love it. I actually really, really like it. Nice. Anyway, um, now that we've added this, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.